Welcome to another video tutorial by Rabbit Hedgehog. For any places or links mentioned in the video, check my website at www.rabbithedgehog.co.nr. Rabbit is spelled with two B's. In this tutorial, I will be talking to you guys about computer memory or RAM. I like to think of the amount of RAM in your computer as the amount of water that you would need to put out a, hu a house fire. On a piece of computer memory, or RAM, there are millions of capacitors. Think of these capacitors as buckets for holding the water. The amount of RAM your computer has is measured in bytes, megabytes, or gigabytes. And this is telling how many buckets or water you have to uh, put out the fire in your computer. So now I'll tell you more about uh, the amount of RAM that you'll need. Well, if your house is a cardboard box, then you're only going to need a few buckets of water, right? But if your house is an apartment building, then you're going to need lots of buckets of water. So the amount of RAM you need depends on what you're going to be doing on your computer. If all you're going to be doing is uh, like internet and word processing and basic stuff like that, then you'll only be needing about um, 512 megabytes or half a gigabyte of RAM. If you're going to be running the highest quality video game on the highest settings, then you'll need 3 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. It all depends. And these numbers are actually assuming that you have Windows XP. The problem with Vista is that it uses up a lot of your RAM um, by, all by itself, so that you will actually need more RAM to run certain programs than if you would run them on Windows XP. So you have only an internet browser and a word processing application, you'll need actually um, 1 to 2 gigabytes of RAM on, on Vista. If you have high quality video games, you'll need 6 to 8 gigabytes. Uh, so for Vista, you basically have to double the RAM um, than if you were to use it on XP. And this is one of the main reasons that Windows XP is so much better than Vista. Based on what you plan to do on your computer, choose how much RAM you'll need. So let's say 1 gigabyte is minimum and 8 gigabytes is maximum um, depending on your operating system and you know everything. And also if you want to watch movies on your computer then um, 2 to 3 gigabytes will do for XP users. And for Vista users you'll need uh, probably 3 to 4 gigabytes. So I hope that um, this video has cleared up all the questions you have on the topic of computer memory and RAM. And you can find um, this entire video uh, written out in the description to the right. If you have any further questions, please just private message me through YouTube. And don't forget to check out my new Flash game website at www.flurple.com. That's F-L-U-R-P-A-L dot com. For more information, just visit my website at rabbithedgehog.co.nr. And that's with two B's. And do not forget to subscribe. Just press that little yellow button to the right or on my channel. Thank you for watching.